So Ian, I suppose you're using the software a lot here as well. Obviously we were saying there about keeping records and the likes of work orders and stuff. What would be like the main functions I suppose you'd use? Um, well, the simple thing is the, the, the records of the job that's done. So the slurry spread in the field here last week and you can um, see exactly what was done. You see you have activities here if your profitability or fertility so that was the slurry that was spread last week and if you click on fertility it should come up that's the we put in fixed rate for slurry it's spring trail and chew so we we'll go off the chagas figures and that's how much was spread that's the rate that was spread per kg so we got 26 kgs of n per hectare and 16 kgs of p and 92 kgs of k in the first spread of slurry and it was spread at 26,000 litres a hectare, which is just under 2,500 gallons an acre. So, um, and if you want to go back to a previous year, same field, there's the previous year. So it got slurry in February, it got a little bit of urea in March, and slurry, slurry. So if you go to the fertility, so the cattle slurry, there's the the nutrients from the cattle slurry, it got um, some grassland protected urea, there's the N and the sulphur, and the ha you have the volumes, the area, and the cost. There's no cost down for slurry here at the moment, but the little split of urea cost um, 28 euro a hectare. And then there's the total nutrients that field got over the year. That's including slurry. Yeah, so it's complete traceability of everything you put on, and I suppose it, it can do costs associated with each field. Then yeah, so it depends. Uh, yeah, just how well you set it up on your costs. And if you have a contract doing all the work, it's very simple. You just bring contracting costs, and you'll know exactly how much that field cost you at the end of the year. Yeah, and I suppose work orders as well is something used a lot here, isn't it? Yeah, the work orders, um, well, it leaves that you could actually sit down in February and do up all your fertiliser for your busy period, maybe in March, and it'll be all in the computer and ready to go, and you never have to think about what rates or anything. Are. The, work, the big advantage of the work order, if um, other operators are using the machinery, that the practically cannot do it wrong. If they put the right fertilizer into the spreader, they can't spread the wrong field, they can't spread the wrong rate. The it's it's this the, um, the job is done the same no matter who's operating the machine. Yeah. I suppose when you're doing trials and stuff here as well, that's all really important. Yeah and some of the trials to be a lot of different rates per paddock of nitrogen and you can't make a mistake. You go into the field, it'll spread the rate that you have put in the computer. So you're doing putting all this stuff in the computer in your office, no pressure on you. When you go out in a hurry, um, you literally can't do it wrong. Yeah. So. And I suppose just overall, what would you say is the main benefit of using the software? Is it that it cuts down time errors or um, traceability? The main benefit of using the software is the records that you're able to make decisions from the records. Um, like before you were kind of guessing what you did in this field and when you did it, now you know if these fields were two fields beside one another or were different, you can look back through your records and see what the difference was. And then you can also see what it cost, the difference cost, and change things according to that. Yeah. Like we, we here we have a lot of different crops, different fields, you know, some farmers have continuous wheat in a field and there's, you know, you're going to have the same every year, there's not much cheek tweaking, but here you'd have, um, there's, you know, even some of these grass fields, they're only four year lay, like, you're changing and moving fields all the time, so it's good to know what's working and what's not. Yeah. I'm going to show this bit. That's the chemicals. Like, um, this is your chemical store. 
you have all your um, fertilizers and when you buy purchase a fertilizer you put in the purchase it comes up here and as you use it it um, takes it away it's your inventory as you use it it takes it away from see we've no fertilizer bought yet this year um, and as you use it during the year so you know exactly how much you have in the store all the time you know exactly how much you've used so you can kind of keep track of yeah that works fair as well for even even the chemical store like uh, I know my inventory for chemical store for inspections and like that like the chemical store should have what it says on computer and I suppose even just for the lights of inspections now you're able to just print all everything off yeah all there. yeah when we even inspection you don't have to go to the the store to, uh, to look at what's there or see if it's right it'll be on the computer you just print the list off what's used you can also print the list off where all the chemicals were used or fields that were used and where all the fertilizer was used just in a matter of minutes yeah so again your complete traceability there yeah and it goes back well we only have it we only started using it in 19 so you've you've all the records and it's starting to it's starting to show more as the years go on you can get more benefit from it yeah i suppose you've more data to work with then yeah and they're Like you can gain to your expenses and your profitability from fields, but it all depends on the information you put into it. Yeah. And even even when you look at a grass field, like we we have it in happening in that field, but um, on the grass fields you can see what f seed you sold, what grass varieties you sold, your soil samples are even in in on this program, so you can on your phone you can click in and look at your soil samples. It's all just a click away. You don't have to go looking in files for your soil sample results. Yeah. Let's see if I can find them. I suppose like that, obviously you have your laptop here, but you can pull a lot of this up on an app phone. phone. Yeah. yeah. I think there's a soil sample that was uploaded. Organic matter, the phosphorus and the potassium. So it's all there, it's very handy. Yeah no point of having all these results and having them in the press somewhere and not looking at them. Yeah, that's it.